What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to try and teach you how I play Till There Was You by The Beatles. Uh, I'm going to show you the rhythm part on the acoustic and I'm also going to show the solo which I'll do on a, my electric guitar. Um, I'll show you a little bit of both parts now and then afterwards I'll go through it all and teach you all the parts. <laughs> Okay, um, so in standard tuning, this is the rhythm part, and let me just go through the chords. So for the intro, you start with an F. And then the next one, E flat diminished. And you just strum through from the D string downwards up to the high high E string. It's the bottom four strings. So da, 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 da. G minor. Da, da, da. And C9. Let's see straight in with some trickier chords. Um, then you're gonna repeat that, so. And then it goes into the verse. Start with the verse. There were on the hill, B, B flat minor. So there, just do an A minor. Then you just do exact same shape but down a fret. Which is A flat minor. Then down one more fret, exactly the same shape. That's a G minor. So that's that little quick bit there. You just start with the bass note and then strum the rest of the strings. It doesn't matter if you go two down strokes or down and up, whichever. That's fine. So. And then you go to a C9. Till there was G minor, C9. So I'll just go back again. From the start of the vocals, I'll put all the chords at the bottom. There were Then you next verse. There were birds in the sky. But here, this is it, where just this E flat diminished. You're, you're gonna. It's the same chord, but you're just gonna go so that your first finger and second finger are starting on the fourth fret. It's the same shape. That go one, two, three, up three. 
three frets so that you're starting on the fourth fret and then your third and your little finger are on the fifth fret, it's on their strings. So, there were birds in the sky, and it's just a slide in the sky, and then carry on. And then here you're going to go to an F9, which is this chord. Then there was... And then you're going to do a B flat. B flat minor, so you just take your first finger off. F. D9. And then here's a, like a little rundown. Yeah. Start with a G minor. So you can start with a G minor, and then you're gonna take your little finger off, put your second finger on the uh, fourth fret of the D string. Sorry. So instead of your little finger being there, you just can take it off and go down one fret on that string, but change it to your second finger. So... And then a G7. So that's that bit. So if we go from that bit, so the F9. to a C. Up down. That's just one little bit there. Up down. C9. So up down. So through the word dawn, uh, you're going to go from a C to a C9. Up and then and due, uh, it's going to be an A flat augmented, I believe it's called, the little plus sign which is that chord. Um, but the way you sort of do it, you just go through the high strings downwards like... I hope that makes sense. So, so you start with a D string, then pick down the high strings, and then strum all of them. So... That's how I do it, anyway. <laughs> And then next verse. Slide up again with the E flat diminished. Now it's the start of the solo, um, but on the acoustic, on the rhythm part for the solo, you're going to go. D D F D D D D D D D D So one, two, three and four. That's for each chord. But for the E flat diminished you're just gonna do two strums. So one, two, three and four. So for the higher one, you do the three and four. One, two, three and four. So D D D D D D D D D D D D D And then here, G minor, B flat minor, and then just go back to the normal strumming here. So you go from the F. Now for this next bit, the lead guitar 100% does this chord. Um, still undecided on whether the rhythm guitar does it as well. On my cover I, I'd also do it on the rhythm part on the acoustic. 
um, but it could potentially also just be a C9 whilst the other guitar does a Honestly, not too sure. So, whichever you want to do for the rhythm part, anyway. So, obviously, you can either end with the C9, which I've already showed you, or this chord. I'm not actually too sure what it's called. Now, there's actually one string that has to be muted as well. It's not actually as difficult as it sounds because naturally it does mute because you're leaning your fingers across to get your little finger flat across there. This third finger does tend to mute it anyway, but just make sure it is. It's the D string, it needs to be muted. So it should sound like this if you pluck through each string. See how that's muted? So. Right, I'm just gonna go back to there just because you can say you know what we're up to. So from the start of the solo, so. to an F, and then F9, Last verse on this E flat diminished, so you go obviously you do the on the, you do actually another one up to there, so and on this one your first and second finger are starting on the seventh fret, and then your third and your little finger are in their positions on the eighth. So there was C and an E. And then F. Here it's a D flat 7. Back to F. And then that last chord is an F major 7. So you're doing that F chord. And then it's actually really easy. Keep your F shape uh, with your second, third, and fourth finger. Keep that shape there. So then with your first finger, all you gotta do is put it on the first fret of the B string. And you're just gonna pluck from the A string downwards. That's all it is. So that's they stay there, same as the F. move your first finger to just uh, rest it on the first fret of the B string. I know it does feel like I've rushed through it, uh, so I understand if it's a bit of a mess in your head right now, but just go back through it, go back through the video, play along to it, pause it for certain chords just to make sure you're getting them chords right. Okay, so I've just realised that this video is going to be way too long if I put the lead guitar parts in this same video. So what I'm going to do is, um, in the next video, it's going to be all the lead guitar parts. Uh, the link will be at the end of the video, so if you want to go and check it out, you can do. Yeah, I'll put it in the description as well. But yeah, so this video is for the rhythm guitar part, which you've just watched. And then the next video will be for the lead guitar parts.